Hello, everybody. Yeah. Moscow Six. Could you shut up for a few moments? Oh. Also. I don't mind my burns, sire. <laughs> They're quite friendly. This one's called Uzi. This is Weepy. And this is uh, Frank. Just let me know if your throne isn't comfy enough, sire. Would you? All right. With that out of the way, <laughs> this is Mosca 67. Welcome back to Overlord 2. I know it's been quite a while, but uh, no, it's been about a week, so I kind of forgot where I was. But I do remember. I think we were at the Elven Sanctuary and returned to Nordberg. Or, which was the entrance to it anyway, and built ourselves a little gate. But, uh... Other than that, uh, let's... So First thing we're gonna do is, uh... Look around the castle real quick. There are some items here. That we need. Ah, here we go. Dark crystal number one. These are dark crystals. Pure evil energy that's become crystallized. Very powerful and very rare, sire. You may find them. They are very useful. They're useful for uh, upgrades. They're useful for. Uh... This cavern will be your private quarters, master. Yes. It is traditional in overlording circles to find oneself a mistress or several. Keep an eye out for a suitable candidate. Don't worry, you know, something to make them plan. look pretty and to waft about the place. I'm quite partial to a bit of wafting. <laughs> anyway, um, those dark crystals are going to be useful for uh, smithing and for. Uh... Shall we check your magic? Nah, I know my magic isn't super strong at the moment, but uh, here we go. Dark crystal number two. There are five in the castle. I'm going to be showing you exactly where all of them are. I think there is one more here. I'm gonna double check. Because there should be one in each of the newer areas. Stop as minion burrows. Um. Oh man, when it comes to this this game, its collectibles are quite a lot. Luckily, the dark crystals they have a certain number of them, so we need to make sure to collect all of them when it comes to uh complete completion. I plan on doing that off camera. When it comes to collecting, this stuff can be get from gnomes you can get treasure anywhere I mean yeah it's not that hard but since there are no achievements in the steam version of the game which fucking sucks by the way I'm just gonna go on ahead and uh, you can view the latest information about your domain from the comfort of your throne, Lord. Oh man, look at them the saluting to their master. A little bit flexible here in the netherworld. Step onto the rock, sire. It's probably safe. Okay. So, first things first. I'll tell you guys about the area once we get there. Let's see. Where are we going first? Oh, is this the the forge? Greetings, sire. Welcome to Foundations. Master can hold a big netherworld building here. Yes. Here is going to be the forge. This is a particularly robust million, sire. Been around almost as long as I have. This forge built weapons and armor here, but need reds to power me. We do need reds. Ready to receive orders. Dark Horse number three. Our plan is to go and get the reds today, but I wanted to show you guys around the castle real quick, you know, just because. And 
in this forgery area, we can forge our new armor, weapons, helmet. Helmet is separate from armor, it's funny enough. Because it increases max horde size depending on what minions you put in there. It's just like the first game, pretty simple. Now time to go to the cemetery. Well, not cemetery, but uh, minion burrows. That's where we're going. Here we are, minion burrows. The minion burrows are believed to be the birthplace of the first minion. He, after we lost our last master, and before the great cataclysm decimated the old lands, we retreated here in the Exodus. Here we've remained, searching for our next bastion of evil. Minion Mortis is in charge. That is to say, he facilitates your decisions, sire. Yep. Spawns new minions, tears the souls of the dead, makes sure they don't come back with the wrong head, that sort of thing. Minions we live, we serve, we die. It is what we are, and what we will always be. Balance, the spawning. You bring me life with a smile with you. The barracks are where minions live when they're not out causing chaos with you, sire. It's also where we keep the hives, which allow minions summoning. Unfortunately, during the exodus, several minion hives were lost. We only managed to retain the browns. I'm sure they'd love a visit. So what Minion Mortis can do is he can... For sacrificing the newer blood minions, we can get our old stronger minions back. Because in this game, they oh, red Mortis misses the reds. He used to let them roast rats on his side. They were lured away by wisps, dark creatures. But we believe they're living in a volcanic area nearby. Which is true. They are actually in the Elven Sanctuary. So once. Oh, here it is, Dark Crystal number four. So all the hives are here. Minion Mortars can resurrect the older minions. In this game, minions can go from levels one to ten. Ten is max level. You see dead minions. This is the graveyard. You can view your recently deceased minions in the temple and resurrect your favorites. Yep. Indeed, Mortis. If you wish to resurrect a fallen minion. Yeah, you can't just sacrifice like green minions for a super strong brown minion or brown minions for a super strong super strong red minion. Also, minions most of the minions in this game have been completely overhauled. Especially the reds. Jesus, they were so weak before. How many do we have? We have four. Am I missing one? Hold on. Should be in the quest. Sport Foundation, Minion Burrows, Private Quarters. There's supposed to be five. Am I seriously missing one? Oh well. Let's go on ahead and get started with our reds. Millions are very excited to have you. All right, let's go find our reds. Oh, we have an audience. Forgive the intrusion, but your visit to Nordberg has not got unnoticed. The Empire is trying to dig through to the Netherworld. How's that possible? I sneaked out to tell you. I, uh, thought after you dealt with Marius, you might see your way clear to perhaps rewarding me for this information. Boy, maybe, uh, making me mayor of Nordberg once you conquer it. 
You know, when you're not busy, your magnificence may be just on uh, Sundays. Sunday afternoons, maybe? Thank you. I can't wait to start my... I, I mean, our... Who said that? Duties. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Let the Empire take control of Nordberg, Master. They'll start thinking the place belongs to them. We must find our way to the sanctuary so we can get through those fire barriers. All right, let's go. Our goals are the Reds. We're going to try to get them as fast as possible. Uh, did you guys really try to bury? We must rise to the challenge and conquer Nordberg. World domination will just come to you. The situation is grave. We don't want these tin heads to dig through to our dark domain. We must retrieve the reds from the sanctuary and remove those barriers. Probably one of the best. Halt! Don't think you can find refuge in our sanctuary. But what was that? Come, soldiers. I think I hear the sound of a mildly distressed badger. Could we just kill him, please? Fire! Retreat to the sanctuary! Ah, <laughs> oh, the best part of the game, the music. Anyway, the biggest thing is down on the bottom left, the freaking map. The map was not in... Overlord 1, you just had to muscle memory everything. Not only does it show you exactly where you, you go. Wait, did I see you? Creepy. Anyway, um, not only does it show you, like, minion spawning pits, it show you entrances and all other sorts of things, and your uh, next objective, which is sick. Overlord 2 is probably... An overhaul, Overlord One, but with a lot better. That graphics. netherworld shard over there is pulsing at your evil presence, Lord. It allows you even greater access to your dark powers. I await you, Master. What do you mean? Let's go. Master. Your, your. In the body oh, of a minion, look, sire. I forgot about this. See me. I hope no one's looking. Still, minions are smaller than you, Lord, so perhaps you can use your newfound form to sneak up on that dryad. Oh, my God. First things first. You see, we have no magic. First things first, we have to get rid of her. And then we have to go attack that pot over there. Now, while she's healing herself, that pot is undefended. Now's your chance. Destroy it. Now the way is oh, one died? Oh, that's sad. Magnificence to enter. There we go. I do like adventuring as a minion, but I think Overlord is much better. Not only do I have more. Too many creatures of light magic here for my liking. That's <laughs> kind. Not like Excuse yours me. at all. Light He's magic occurs when the magical energy that's all around us is absorbed into nice creatures. Ones who use it for noble pursuits like saving things and tinkling and shining and baking lentil cookies. <laughs> These crystals are also going to be used for forging. Oh, gross. Kindly to your type, <laughs> You just make trouble throwing fireballs and scaring the wildlife. Just like those little red devils. Come on, Petunia. Let's leave this riffraff. I doubt you'll get such a warm welcome from the other creatures here. Gnarl, please. Yeah. 
these are actually really super important. So collecting as many as we can of these is very good for us. But I won't waste too much time. Correctly, you're. So, good lord, that second triad is protecting the pod whilst the other heals. You'll have to find another way through. No, no, stop. Stop it! Stop! Though we do need to go over here. There we go. Getting as many as we can of these as early as possible is probably going to be great for us. Let's just ignore those for now. Just go down. Goddamn gnomes! Get them, sire! Gnomes, they're just so fiddly, always having to peel them off your boots. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, you. Here. Your brows can't follow, sire. Just leave them behind and they'll return to the other world. <laughs> <for a little laughs> <down> <laughs> time. Uh. These are reds. Get them. See, their designs are completely overall. Not too much, but simplistic to the point where it's just enough. Find and return the red hive to the netherworld. Exactly, that's our only thing. Can you spawn more reds outside the sanctuary? I want you. Look at that. See how quickly they killed Moth? Oh my god. They're much stronger than they were in the first game. The first game, they were probably the weakest minion. The greens were weak, but they had more than enough damage output. So 
so now they've been given the green treatment. Burn them! God, these, these crystals are gonna be so fucking useful. Oh, there it is. Get the gnome hat. Oh, they can't. No. Those triads can't stand in your way. Round. Roast those jumped up vegetables. No. I'm so glad they reward the red minions in this game. The reds were actually my favorite in the first one, but I just used the browns because of simplicity. It's you! You don't belong here! Browns. Get out this minute, or you'll incur the wrath of our wondrous Queen Fang! Oh! Queen Fang came to heaven. are not as tough as browns. Brown, browns, browns in first. Not the end. They use the reds to barbecue them. See, they're doing so much damage. Just because I can. Browns destroy everything. Treasure's gonna be important. No! I think we go down here. A nice looking wench, but it is a fairy. Ah, oh, Gnarl the racist. Oh, I missed you so much. <laughs> Let's go. Brown. Don't worry, I won't attack any of you. In fact. Let's leave all this bad karma behind us, man. Oh, you, you little dicks. We're gonna have the reds carry them. Browns. Take 
tinkling. Always the tinkling. Just the tinkling, man. Ah, the furies are coming. I thought I. I thought one of them was a man. You found a hub, sire. I believe Braver has just fainted with excitement. All right. You choose all. Let's do this. Become one. Let's do this. Stop killing my rats! May you rest in peace, little guy. There we go. Gotta make sure we, uh... Yeah, you better stay away. If you're curious what we look like, we're just... in the zombie, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Honestly, aesthetically, the game had a big overhaul, too, and I just wish they would have went with a third game. Codemasters has just been making racing games recently. It's kind of cringe. Racing games can be good. Do not get me wrong. You and your barbaric creatures may have trampled our village, but you will respect our holy shrine. The crystal it holds protects all life in this sanctuary. That crystal contains great power. Power that a certain evil overlord could use. I'm sorry. Fritz! I'm actually going to set up the reds up here. I'm gonna go to the pods because they seem like they can handle it. I need breads. Please! Quickly! There we go! Get your ass over here, boys! I honestly don't have a choice here. Sorry, Queen Fey. I can give two shits. Don't you worry, Narl. You got this. You have angered Queen Fey. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Stolen our spellstone intruder and defiled this shrine, bringing darkness into a place of light. Suffering be upon you. You think I give two shits? Okay. Let's go on ahead and 
walk all over her. If I can. Jesus! There we go. Now we need a. Uh... Brown! Are you serious? Go away! I'm trying my best. How do I get out of here? Okay. There we go. Alright. Back to Netherworld Tower. God damn it. <laughs> the one gripe I have about this game is a teleport mechanic. I swear I can just click on the name and I'd be able to teleport in the first game. Ah, oh, here it is. His carnage is impressive. A fact there is no doubt. The rock did fly right through the air. One strike, and they were out. Now oh, it's so nice to see the minions back in the field. All right. Fighting and dying like the battle days. That's gonna be it for episode three. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, don't worry, I don't plan on 100%ing it on screen because that'd be absolute torture. The you're doing very well, master. But there's always more evil to be done. Obviously. Um, so, in this game, most of the collectibles are more spread out than any collectible. I mean, not as much as LEGO games, but they're still pretty spread out. Anyway, that's going to be it for me. I hope you guys did enjoy. You already know what to do. Hit the buttons and all that stuff. But, uh... <laughs> I really can't wait to get back into this. This is going to be so much fun. And that's it. As always, have a good day, guys.